a psycho killer, a pacifist. This is the loadout their love child would use. It has 1.7 million armor, 160% repair skills, no red cores, and only one skill tier. Punching in at over 1 million per shot, a single pellet buffs squad damage up to 60%. Yours, 55%. And with ticks hitting harder than most turrets, it deals death by status effects without using skills. It's ideal for heroic, legendary missions, and raids. The only question is, how do you keep this from being used in PvP? Enjoy episode 7, stick around after for the build. Leon, do you have eyes on Val? Do you copy? Val, I need a sit rep. What's your location? Val? Agents, are you out there? Can you hear me? Alo, you're the best search and rescue we got. I'm putting you in. Find our agents. Bring them home. I know where she is. Beginning search, please stand by. <laughs> I know where she is. Search query finished. Alo, that's Kamikaze, a hyena captain. It sounds like he has a foul. Oh, do I make you nervous? Is it the mask? You have a new objective. See if you can get him to lead you to the Nemesis Hunter. Then, eliminate the threat and save Val. I'm sending backup. Don't engage until they arrive. I know where she is. Backup detected. Ghost team, watch your backs down there. <laughs> I do. I know where she is. He's baiting you, Alo. Stay focused. Subject located. Some men aren't looking for anything logical, like power. They can't be bullied, reasoned, or negotiated do you know with. Where your precious Valentine is? Some men just want to watch the world tear itself apart. HQ, I am on site. Incoming hostiles detected. Just dealing with a few tenders. The ghosts could use your help. Get in the fight. Ah, you're the thing. I like that. Go. Then you're gonna love me. Back up nearby. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an unmovable object? You won't kill me. Not today. And I won't kill you. Because it's just too much fun. It's a funny world we live in. Speaking of which. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed episode 7 of the Division 2 Netflix style build miniseries. Catch up on all previous episodes using the links provided in the description area below. This episode was special because it guest starred the iconic Division 2 content creator Kamikaze Von Doom. To continue the fun and celebrate our collaboration, he will be dropping a new build for you later this week. I got a link to his channel below, be sure to check it out. Build details are coming in just a few, enjoy as I show you what it can do.
I got a bad feeling about this. Agents, I'm inviting you to join me and other agents just like you as we level up our Division 2 gameplay. Jump into conversation and meet new runmates on my Discord, Twitter, and more. Links in the description area below. And yes, do subscribe if you haven't. Remember, the single best way to support my channel is by watching this video to the end. Agents, this build is wicked and it has two purposes. One, debuff the enemy. Two, amplify you and your allies' damage to them, marginalizing the threat and making them the underdog. This is why I call it the Equalizer. As you can tell by the gameplay, this build relies on Septic Shock, the talent on the Scorpio Exotic Shotgun. Two things we care about. One, it delivers a status effect. Two, the target takes 20% additional damage from all sources. This synergizes with the Vile Mask, the other key component of this build. We want this mask for toxic delivery. Status effects apply damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. The amount of damage applied over that time is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade. Let's call that the base damage. And with this current setup, we have just about 2 million. So that's 1 million base damage over 10 seconds. Notice I added the repair skills mod on the mask. The damage is also increased by the amount of status effects you have rolled on your build. So, to weaken the crap out of the enemy, we are going to max out the Toxic Delivery debuff. We're also going to max out our armor and have high survivability by adding a ton of repair skills. Maximizing our explosive damage means we need one piece of China Light. That gives us 15% explosive damage. I rolled max armor and it has status effects and repair skills. The other way you increase explosive damage is by running two pieces of Grupo Sombra. That gives us 15% more explosive damage, otherwise I rolled max armor, it's got status effects and repair skills. The holster is my second piece of Grupo, and it looks just like my gloves. If you're having a hard time finding these pieces, just farm a Grupo that already has repair skills or status effects on it, and really good weapon damage. Then just roll the other secondary attribute you don't need. This build has 1.7 million armor, so losing a little bit is okay. Running the Demolitionist gives you an additional 10% explosive damage. So far, we've buffed our Concussion Grenade by 40% explosive damage. Also remember, by using Scorpio, every 7th hit is going to increase that by an additional 20%, taking us to a total of 60% increased damage to our Concussion Grenade. Hang in there, we still got a ton more of buffs and debuffs to go through. Warning. Your division affiliation has been disavowed and will now mark this rope. To anybody out there listening, this is a call to action. Share this video. Or if you're a writer, graphic designer, project manager, video editor, knowledgeable in game lore, or... So just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. Join us on my Discord as we gear up for the second season of the Division 2 Netflix-style build miniseries. A story about a time of crisis a pandemic, where the lines between being a hero and villain are blurred. In this world, fate, as we know it, is decided by the Division 2 community. Remember, whoever you are, wherever you are, you can be part of this story. You can be part of something bigger. So throw on some slippers, put on a poncho, and grab a Code Red Mountain Dew. Then, go to my Discord, the Casting Call channel, drop us a line, and follow the White Rabbit. Okay, for the backpack, I chose Badger Tough for 10% more shotgun damage. It's got max armor, repair skills, and status effects. And I put income and repairs to buff my healing. For the talent, I'm using Opportunistic. This is very important. So enemies hit with your shotgun receive 10% amplified damage from all sources. Gotta take this fucker out! You just buffed your allies and the mask. So squads that are proficient on focus firing are gonna get major benefit from this. All you gotta do is stick with your group. We've now increased our explosive damage for our concussion grenade and toxic delivery by 70%. 10% of that is amplified damage. So remember we need to max out our status effects in order to get the most out of the bio mask. That means we need at least one piece of golden gear, and that's exactly what I'm running on my chest. It's got 10% status effects, armor regen, more status effects, and a repair skills mod. 
If you can, put repair skills instead of armor regen. That way you get the most out of that income and repairs mod we threw on our backpack. For the chest piece talent, we're using glass cannon. That gives us 25% amplified damage from all sources. You also get 15% amplified incoming damage. But this build isn't like other glass cannon builds. You don't have to worry about that. We got a ton of armor and a lot of repair skills. 160% if you include incoming repairs. That doesn't mean you can face tank. That does mean, however, that you can take some damage and stay in the fight while you recover quickly. With these pieces, we've increased our concussion grenade damage by 95% so far. 35% of that is amplified increase to damage. Okay, so let's use the testing range to take a look at our damage from ticks. So ignoring weapon damage at the moment, we're going to see a variety of numbers as well as every seven rounds, we're gonna see an additional 20% damage drop. That's from Scorpio Septic Shock. And right there, we're getting over 165,000 per tick. Okay, quick look at my skills. So I'm using the healer drone and the explosive fire sticky bomb. Remember, this is not a skill build. I don't recommend relying on your artillery turret. Rely on your shotgun. Okay, here's a high level snapshot of the build. And while you take a look at this, I need to mention that you have a choice to make. You can either run Demolitionist and get 10% more explosive damage or toxic delivery on your mask, which is a damage debuff. Or you can run Survivalist and give your teammates an additional 10% damage to targets with status effects. If you're running a team greater than two, legendary missions, the dark zone or raids, definitely choose the Survivalist. That additional damage from your team will amount to a lot more than just the mask. So this build has been a ton of fun to use, but where this build really shines is going to be that legendary group play. So let's random match and do a group. Okay, here we are at Roosevelt Island, and I'm with a bunch of noobs. Everybody here is under a 1000 SHD level. Now that doesn't mean anything, I'm just letting you know that I'm amplifying their damage, but their builds and their SHD watches are not fully optimized. The reality is we could be killing a lot faster than we are. But I think you'll see the point, which is that this build can play on the front lines, take some damage, and recover even in legendary content. So I'm not on the mic with this team, but the best way to use this build is coordinated efforts. Focus fire. Identify your target, weaken his shields, amplify the damage, cut him down. Rinse and repeat. If you can get into that rhythm with your team, big bosses, legendary bosses, or opponents in PvP will go down quickly. And if you got two guys on your team running this build, forget about it. You're not just buffing and debuffing all the heck, you're also tanky as hell. And if an enemy steps up to you, you're not weak. You're hitting at over 1 million, not counting the ticks. A really good way to play this, however, is to play just a little bit deeper than your allies. But I'm giving you the tankiness and the repair skills to be close enough so that you get the maximum amount of pellets hitting your target. Doing that gives you more of that debuff. I hope you're enjoying the series. You can binge watch all episodes by heading over to this playlist. Also, if you're looking for another Bait Ace build, I got you covered. Links here and below. Tux, out.